Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So if we have 13 to the power of 5 minus 13 to the power of 4. So we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. But here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. It means that we will show all of the working on this paper. Uh, so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to focus uh, in the exponent of this first term. Uh, so we have the exponent of first term is 5 so we break this 5 as uh, 4 plus 1 and minus this is over 13 to the power of 4 and after that here we need to use uh, the exponent law uh, and uh, we know about this law if you have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n uh, so according to this exponent law here we will break this exponent and it will be written as 13 to the power of 4 multiplied by 13 to the power of 1 minus this is 13 to the power of 4 and now here in the next step uh, we will uh, just take common 13 to the power of 4 uh, and we get the remaining values are uh, so here when we take common 13 to the power of 4 here we will get 13 only minus here we get 1 uh, so this will be equals to 13 to the power of 4 multiplied by this is 13 minus 1 equals to 12 so uh, here uh, in order to find the value in order to write the algebraic expression into a simplified form we first need to find the value of 13 to the power of 4 uh, so 13 to the power of 4 uh, means that here we break its exponent and we write it as 13 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 and it is multiplied by 12 and now here uh, we apply the exponent law so according to that exponent law uh, here we just move this 2 inside the term and we obtain here 13 square and it's a whole square and it is multiplied by 12 so now here uh, in order to find uh, the square of 13 square and its whole square first we need to find the square of 13 so uh, you very well know about the meaning of 13 square is that that we just multiply 13 with 13 uh, and now here we break this 13 as uh, here we write it as 10 plus 3 and now we separately multiply this 13 on both of these values and it will be written as 13 multiplied by 10 plus 13 multiplied by 3 uh, and here we know that 13 times of 10 becomes 130 plus this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and 3 ones are 3 and when we add these two values, then we obtain here 0 plus 9 equals to 9, 3 plus 3 is 6 and this is our 1. So here uh, we get uh, first the 13 square and after that you see here we have 13 square and its whole square. So here we again take uh, squares on both of the sides of this expression. So when you take square it will be written as uh, square of 169 and here the meaning of 169 square is that we multiply 169 with 169 and now we break this 169 as first we have 169 we write this term as 100 plus 60 and plus 9 so here we multiply this 169 on each of these value and it will be written as 169 multiplied by 100 plus 169 multiplied by 60 plus 169 multiplied by 9. So here we need to do uh, all of these product and here you see that we do these products in a very smart way. So here I cannot do any extra calculations or we do not use the calculator and I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So when you multiply this 169 uh, with 100 uh, then we get here 169 and double zero plus here uh, we need to multiply this term with these two values uh, so here first we multiply this 0 with this complete number you get 0 and when you multiply this 6 times of 9 uh, you get here 
54 so we write here 4 and uh, we carry uh, 5 so 6 6 are 36 36 plus 5 becomes uh, 41 and 41 we write 1 and carry 4 so here you have 6 1 the 6 6 plus 4 becomes here 10 so it will be written as 1 0 1 4 0 then plus here we multiply this 9 with these numbers so you have 9 9 the 81 we write 1 and carry 8 so again we have 9 6 is 54 54 plus 8 becomes 62 we write 2 and uh, carry 6 9 ones are 9 9 plus 6 becomes here 15 and now here in the next step we need to uh, sum up all of these values and we have this is 0 plus 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 and 0 plus 4 is 4 4 plus 2 becomes 6 and 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 5 becomes 15 we write 5 and carry 1 so 6 plus 0 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus this 1 is 8 and at the last we have this is 1 plus 1 equals to 2 so uh, it means that finally we have 13 square and its whole square is equals to 2 8 5 6 1 and now here uh, we move backward uh, and we substitute uh, this value of 13 square and its whole square to the upsides. So here you see that we have this is 13 square and its whole square. We put this value here and it is multiplied by 12. So now here uh, after that um, we first copy down uh, this value here. Uh, so it will be written as uh, so we have 2 8 5 6 1 is multiplied by 12 okay so now here in order to multiply this value with 12 we break this 12 as 10 plus 2 and now we multiply this value with 10 then you get here 2 8 5 6 1 0 and when we multiply this value with 2 you get here 2 1s are 2 and 2 6 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 2 5 is a 10 10 plus 1 is 11 we write 1 and carry 1 2 8 is a 16 16 plus 1 is 17 we write 7 and carry 1 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so at the last we need to sum up these values and we get here 0 plus 2 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 6 plus 1 is 7 and 5 plus 7 is 12 we write 2 and carry 1 8 plus 5 is uh, 8 plus 1 is 9 and 9 plus 5 becomes 14 we write 4 and carry 1 and 2 plus 1 becomes 3 so finally we have the final simplified form of the given question is 13 to the power of 5 minus 13 to the power of 4 equals to 3 4 2 7 and 3 2 this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.